We're making our very first 2.5D game and we're gonna be using Miska, Muska, Mickey, Rat! Since Steamboat Willie, the very first released episode showing the character, has entered public domain. Public domain expansion! That means anyone like you, me, your mom, dad, grandma, and your cat can use it to make our very own interpretations. So, we're gonna make a game out of it in 2.5D. Yeah, baby! First, let's make Mickey himself and turn him into a pixel art sprite. Then, we can make his animations for him to do all sort of stuff like idle, running, and jumping. Now, let's put him into the game engine in which we are using the Gido game engine. Let's give him some movement mechanics starting first with the running. We can make him run by modifying the X and Z axis position because we want him to move left, right, forwards, and backwards. And we can use the running animation we made alongside it. You can also notice that he moves a bit slower at first until he reaches the maximum speed and then slows down slightly when you stop moving. This is to make the movement feel more natural since in reality, you don't immediately move in your maximum speed and then just suddenly stop whenever you want to. Now let's make his jumping mechanic where if you press the jump button for a short time, he also jumps in a short distance. But if you long press the jump button, he guess what? He jumps higher. Very good. But if you were late to press jump after going over an edge, you're still able to jump for a short amount of time. This is what we call coyote time, which is used most often by platforming games to save you from falling to your eternal death. We've also added some particle effects for the running and jumping just to add a bit of visual spice. And because we don't want to be left behind when he goes out to buy some milk, we're gonna be a stalker and follow him all around wherever he goes. Anyways, we can do this by adjusting the camera to move relative to the position of the character. When he's moving left or right, we're moving the camera just a bit in front of him so we can see more of what's ahead. Now let's make the actual steamboat by using the one from the episode as a reference and making a 3D model out of it. We can just put a screenshot of the steamboat as a 3D plane within Blender and roughly trace the shape of it. Then we can refine some of the details and integrate the level designs within the steamboat. We've also made this box crate to be used as a platform. This is for the several platforming segments of the game in which some of them has a code that makes them move from one position to another. Now we can start programming some AI for P. He has two main states, which first is where he's just roaming around the boat and trying to find Mickey to check if he's actually doing the chores. For him to roam around the boat, we've created a set path for him to follow that goes all around the boat from the top to the bottom floor. And the second state is where when he finds Mickey, he will try to chase and catch him and make him do the tedious chores. We made some pathfinding script in which when he chases Mickey, he will be able to navigate his surroundings to go around obstacles and find the shortest path towards Mickey. When Pete is chasing Mickey, he has the option to hide so he can get away from doing any chores. For the hiding mechanic, we've created some hideable objects like haystacks, barrels, and a trash can. And how it works is basically when you move near it, it'll prompt you to press a key for you to hide. Then we can just make Mickey to become invisible and play a short animation for the hideable object so it looks like Mickey just moved within that object. We've also made it in a way so that when you hide but you're still within Pete's vision, he will still be able to catch you. So you need to keep in mind to be out of sight first before hiding. Now let's move on to the collectibles, which will be the animals that you need to collect and is basically the main goal of the game. Using again the episode as a reference, we've made these animal assets and placed them all around the map. With a press of a button, the game will show you a list of the animals that you still need to find. Collecting an animal crosses their name out of the list. Finally, we can make a simple main menu by just reusing the steamboat we made and putting a play button. Now, here's the final result. If you want to try out the game, you can play it through itch.io, which is linked in the description below. By the way, don't expect it to be a perfectly polished game since it was just made for fun and probably have tons of bugs. Anyways, enjoy.